Hello everybody, thank you very much for tuning in, it's much appreciated. It's Beer Monster O'Clock. It's Beer Monster O'Clock and uh, that's two of me kids, uh, they wanted to get involved. And with this one, I'm going to be doing a beer review uh, by the uh, Magic Rock Brewing Company. And this is a Botanic, Botanicalist <laughs> Gin and Tonic uh, IPA in partnership with Mason's. I probably murdered that pronunciation there, didn't I? Oh, I'm a nightmare. Uh, anyway, but before that, I'm gonna do some crisps. Uh, these came in the fifth Beer 52 uh, subscription pack. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd do the crisps as well. Kids can try one of these as well. I'm just gonna quick, these are called uh, Halda Bombay Sweet Chili Ancient Grain Chips. 99 calories, vegan friendly, 18 grams. That is a tiny little pack. Bit of a tight snack there, beer 52, come on. Do I look like 18 grams is gonna feed me? There's a little look at the packaging. You got an elephant on there. Quite what he's got to do with crisps, I don't know. But yeah, let's crack them open. I'm gonna try one first, and then the uh, kid's gonna let you know whether they like them or not. Right, let's go in. One more. Come on, that couple. Think about what you can taste, yeah? Yeah. It tastes peppery. Tastes yeah. peppery. What do you think, Layla? Spicy. Spicy. Peppery. Anything else to remind you of anything Jalapeno. else? Jalapenos. Jalapenos? Uh, the, the green pepper thing. Green peppers, what chilies? It tastes like yeah. curry. Tastes like curry. Well, interesting as you said that. They remind me of a bit of Bombay mix, actually. But like, if you imagine Bombay mix, but like a crisp version of Bombay mix. They've got a bit of a kick to them, haven't they? Yeah. Not quite spicy. You know one? Yeah. They're actually really nice, but they are a bit on the spicy side. And so, um, luckily, my kids can handle the spice quite well. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you're struggling a bit Layla, aren't you? <laughs> you know what? what would you give it out of 10, Layla? 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, but she's like <coughs> dying inside. What about you, Tyler? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. There you go. 10 out of 10 for both of them. Right, you should clear off now because I'm doing a beer review. And you can yeah. get a cup of water if you need it. <laughs> nah, I'll be good. Oh, no. You know what? I don't think they're far out. They're really, really good. The packet needs to be bigger. I guess this could just be like a sample packet just to um, give you a try so you go and buy a big bag. You know what? I do think they're lovely. I really do. I love Bombay mix and they remind me of that. Very peppery, you're getting a sweet chilli in the background. Lovely crunch to them, they taste really, really nice. And they'll grow fantastic with beer. So in that respect, I've smashed it with them. I'm gonna give them a 9.5, I actually think they're lovely. I will definitely buy them again if I see them about. Anyway, let's move on to the beer. Yeah, this come out of the uh, Beer 52 subscription which is 24 pounds a month. And you get eight craft beers and two snacks. Them crisps were uh, one of the snacks. But I'm just doing the trial, which you just pay the postage, which is six pound 95. Now, the reason I'm doing this one first, I did do an unboxing. You can see the other beers that I'll be reviewing out of that box if you want to, is because this is the one I was probably least looking forward to. I don't mind gin and tonic. I don't mind a uh, IPA, but the four of them two together, uh yeah i'm not too sure about that so it's partly because i wasn't sure about it but also very intrigued to find out what it'd be like i suppose so i thought i'd do this one first of course it is by the magic brook brewery as i said before and slight haze to it slightly hazy got a very white slightly foamy head actually looks all right quite low levels of carbonation let's have a little whiff 
it smells very floral. You can actually smell a bit of the um, gin in there as well. A kind of a lavendery smell about it, and like I forget the name of them. You know them berries that people put in their gin. Is it juniper or something like that? That was a bit like that. Don't smell too bad. Quite a clear golden colour in it. Anyway, let's uh, chuck it down the neck and uh, see if I like it. Really not sure. This could go either way, this one, I reckon, guys. Cheers, everybody. Bosh. It ain't horrible. It's interesting. It's not bad actually. <laughs> Again. It's very fresh. It's very light. Well, by the way, it's five percent ABV. This one. It's fresh. Tastes light. Tastes very citrusy to me. And a little bit herbally. Kind of unusual, but it kind of works. Plenty of floral hops in there. I can taste the gin and tonic in the background. It actually goes surprisingly quite well with the bitterness. Um, It's better than I expected, actually. I won't go as far as saying it's amazing. I would probably still rather have an IPA or a gin and tonic. But, yeah, I, could, I reckon some people would like this. It's actually not bad. Got some like, tangy grapefruit towards the end. A little bit of like citrus, I think it's lemon as well. It's actually not bad. You are getting that sort of slightly um, bitter sort of taste from the tonic water as well, actually. Hmm. It's almost as if you're drinking an IPA in the pub and someone spilled a bit of uh, their TNT in your beer sort of thing. It is kind of tastes how you would kind of expect, which probably sounds really bad, but it actually doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's really random though, I'll tell you. A bit of pineiness towards the end as well. We've got like a subtle bitterness. You know, it's quite nice though, as well. It just, it really does work, <laughs> oddly. Uh, but I don't think it's amazing, but I'm glad I tried it. Would I buy it again? Probably not, to be honest, because these work out. About three, I think if you buy these separately off beer 52, they're £3.50 a can, a 330 mil can. That's a bit out of my league as far as budget goes. Yeah, I don't like it enough that I would buy it again for that price. But, you know, it's been an experience trying it. Score-wise, out of 10. Hmm. It's really not bad. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. And uh, there was part of me thinking I was really going to hate that. So, yeah, surprise me. Quite a pleasant surprise. I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, review, guys. I know the kids getting involved a bit and all that. And um, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm going to go finish off these bad boys now. Because uh, they were really, really nice. And, uh, yeah, hit the like button if you've enjoyed it, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. To the next one. Bye-bye, darlings.